Hello, good morning. Today is Sunday. Just finished making my Saturday video. Sorry that that was a little bit late there, not my intention. Today we have our first solo. Solo, you solo. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you get me crazy in the morning. Don't hate. Okay, so today being Sunday, we got our solo. So normal stuff, wake up at 5.30 and take the dogs out, feed them, water them, all that good stuff, waiting for breakfast, which is what I'm doing right this moment, I'm waiting. And then after that, we're probably all gonna head into town. Um, again, that's what we did yesterday, and we all went into town, there was no shuttle bus or anything like that. And um, do our solo, and I'm not too sure what's going to happen after that. Um, that's the difficult part of making these in the morning. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, if our instructor is on today, that means if they're like working and they're staying here in the house, um, hypothetically we might, might do work on booties and equipment ordering and stuff like that. That's what some of the groups did yesterday if their instructors were working. Um, so hypothetically, that's what should be happening today. But uh, of course, that'll be a different clip later because I don't know what's gonna happen. So up to this point, we're just waiting for breakfast and then going into town, doing our solo, and we'll go from there. So that's all I got to report at the moment. And uh, besides that, uh, we got an extra hour of sleep and they're like, don't be surprised if your dog wakes you up at 4.30 in the morning wanting to eat because technically that was the old 5.30. If my dog was hungry, my dog did not show it. Either that or I just didn't hear it, I don't know. I went to bed really late last night. I went to bed at like midnight, which was bad. So I'm probably gonna wanna take a nap later. So hopefully, my instructor is working and I don't get to take a nap. Um, then again, it's also a good thing that they get a break and people take time off because it's it's a stressful it's a stressful time for everybody involved. So if they are off, I'll just have to do something to preoccupy myself to not sleep. That basically be the. Uh, name of the game so and um mm -hmm. sorry my like lips are dry right now so I keep biting them because you know that's what you're supposed to do when they're dry anyway my dog is chilling in the crate right now um chewing on a uh benabone and um I have another chewer in the house there was Yoshi who is a chewer. Mika is kind of getting more into chewing, not crazily chewing though. Uh, and this dog is probably about the same level as Yoshi, maybe a little bit less, maybe like an in-between Mika and Yoshi level of chewing. Probably closer to Yoshi though, but whatever. I'm not upset about that because, well, gonna cost more but anyway um, because it just means that it's a distressor and the dog uses it to just relax and, and just chill you know like okay stressful work day um, yeah, that's what Yoshi would do yeah Yoshi would be you know come home from working and she would uh, she'd play for a little bit and then she'd go find a bone and she'd just chew and chew and chew with me and I was like okay I'm okay with this um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not upset about that. This dog um, doesn't seem to be doing it as much, but um, we got our Kongs on Friday, and between the Kong and the bone, the dog definitely seems to be more interested in the bone. So yeah. Hey guys, what is happening? Um, so I have had requests. To speak up in my videos and I, 
I'm sorry that it's hard to hear my voice. Um, I don't want to speak up too, too much because it's late at night and I don't want to be that person that wakes everyone else up because of talking. Um, and if I make my videos too much earlier, there's other things happening and I really don't have the time before 8, typically. Um, today I would have, but uh, well, kind of, kind of would have. Anyway. So, Sunday. Uh, yeah, we had our solo, and from what I can tell, that went well. Then we came back, and we uh, let the dogs go to the bathroom. And then after that, we... Um... Sorry about that. Um, after that, we had a, another, our, our secondary lecture on traffic. And then we had lunch. And after lunch, we gave the dogs another chance to go to the bathroom. And upon that, our group met up um, in the main lounge. And we went over our equipment list and just ordered extra things that we wanted, like we wanted extra collars or leashes or just random things if we wanted extras of. And then uh, during that same little group meeting, we got emails and that kind of thing figured out, as well as booties. We got our booties for our dogs. and. Um, specialty grooming tools for our particular breeds and so we got those handed out um, because basically the way they're doing things now is you get a certain standard tools so everyone gets a pin brush and a um, finishing brush and then you get different tools like a, a, a rake or comb or a zoom groom or whatever um, depending on your breed of dog so we each got our specialty um, grooming tools and um, I think that was about it for that um, with the solo <laughs> um, it was a pain there were churches um, with their bells just going off and me and my partner were walking along and the first church kind of came up and we we're like okay this is annoying <laughs> so you know of course we prompt our dogs to keep on going and then we said okay that that church bell sound starts to slowly kind of fade away and then we cross a street and we're approaching a secondary church and so this one's bells just start going off and suddenly it's a lot more annoying. it's a lot louder and it's just oh it, I'm sorry for anyone who goes to church but it was a racket it was like annoying like <laughs> I'm like come on so uh, we both veered away from that street as quickly as humanly possible because <laughs> it was so annoying so, um, which I thought it was just, it was just funny. I had to share that. Um, but yeah, uh, after that meeting, it was individual work. We did uh, obedience with our individual dogs and um, we worked on clicker, uh, charging the clicker and then targeting and all that stuff. And then after that, basically, it was free time. Basically, you can do whatever you want. So, I, what did I do? I think I had an hour to do something. Um, oh, that's right. I went on a walk on the leisure path with some people. And after that, 
Um, I think I worked on editing videos, if I remember correctly, and playing with my dog. And that was about it. <laughs> um, had dinner and then hung out in the main lounge. And yeah, that's basically all they wrote. <laughs> That was basically all today was. Um, weekends you don't have a secondary trip, so it's only the one. So that's all that really happened today. Um, not too much exciting, really. <laughs> uh, tomorrow we are starting the Elm Street route. So that will be interesting. Apparently it's just a longer route. It can often create problems for a lot of people because it has like lots of hills and stuff. And um, if it's anything like the Pine Street route that I did two years ago, it's not all that difficult. It's just longer. Um, I think, I think actually the Pine Street route that I did had less street crossings. They were just more complex, and the the blocks in between were longer, from what I remember. But We'll see what happens tomorrow and I'll let you guys know what happens then. So that's basically all that happened today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I will see you guys again soon.